Hello everybody, I'm in my bare room today. I've actually got a day on my own. Nanny BB, Nick's mum, Nick and all the boys, including Oscar, have um, gone to the jump park for the afternoon. Um, I feel completely lost. I don't have my little baby. Oh, I'm sure he's fine. I know he's fine. He's probably more fine than he would be with me. He's being absolutely doted on, but oh, it does feel funny without him, I have to say. But I'm, I've brought myself into my bare room to take my mind off of things. So, Young Pompadour here, he is off um, to Stella Evans. Nanny BB um, is taking him home. So he's going on a very exciting journey. He's going on a train um, and he's going on Eurostar and then he's going to get back to the UK and then she's going to post him from the UK for us just to make sure he doesn't have to travel travel without um, travel in an aeroplane or, or any other way. So he's going to go, he's going to go safely with Nanny BB and then be delivered to, to Stella, who I'm really, really pleased and so excited that she's got him. So yeah, so he's on his way there. I'm just finishing him off. I'm making sure he's all all ready to rock he's just got to have a couple of toe toes put back on haven't you and you're ready to go um the little restoration bear that you saw in the last video i've started him so i'm going to put a sped up um uh, restoration of him on on this video now um so he's in the process of being done so i will be able to show you him being done and i finished another bear this morning i've been on bears i've bear. I had to do my bears to take my mind off of things off of, off my, long, my little oscar um, yeah, so another bear. I'll put a picture up of him. He's done. He's gone to a lovely home. Um, he went this morning. And uh, yeah, we've done the horses. The farrier's been. She did um, uh, Kimmy and Totty. Uh, they're the two little Shetlands, a mum and daughter. So um, Totty is Rupert's pony, so he rides her. But she suffers very badly with forever growing feet. This animal, honestly, her feet grow like grass. So you leave them for even a week after they're supposed to be done and she can't, you know, they're, they're terrible. So yeah, she's she's having had her feet done now and so is little, little Totty, or Kimmy, her naughty daughter. So they've had them done. And Magic's had his feet done, so he's all been trimmed up, so he's happy. Um, so I'm hoping in the next few days I'm going to do a video with the um, legends because the sun is out and it is very, very lovely out there. Um, so we're going to make the effort to go down there and um, yeah, do a video for you because it's been so cold here. We've just kept everyone rugged up and warm and full of food. So yeah, but as the sun's out, we've got some rugs off and we're in the, the malting season. So we've got hair coming out of our ears. There's hair everywhere. So the dogs are malting, the cats are malting. The birds molting and laying eggs. I'll put a picture in here for you now. Apparently, it's really difficult to get a parrot to lay an egg. You know, my parrot lays eggs, quite a few of them. So we've had two, three in the last week. Um, but I've, um, I've filmed them for you. Quite amazing. It's these tiny little eggs. You feel terrible getting rid of them, but what can I do with them? And she's quite aggressive around the kids, but she's fine with me. So I just pop them out and, and take them away. So, yeah, she's fine. And, um, yeah, and the horses... Well, I might as well stuff. I could use their hair to stuff the bears. They're they they are molting like you wouldn't believe. You just blow on them, and they're like the um, uh, dandelion, they go, and all the hair floats around. So yeah, so it's good fun. So we're in in hairy time of year here. So it's everywhere. It fills fills up the washing machine. It fills up the house. It's just everywhere. So everything molts, and Mama Moon has to clean it all up. So that's my job. So I'm ready. I'm preparing myself. So yeah, so I'm in my bare room. It's lovely. The fire's going. Um, I've got my old clock ticking behind me. Uh, Nick's got to service all my other clocks. They've they've decided to since the move. I don't, you know, old clocks don't like moving, and they've all just decided they don't like working anymore. So they've all kind of stopped. They're all they all didn't work on time anyway, but now they don't work at all. So he's going to sort all those out for me. But my dear old pot belly French clock behind me, she's ticking away and she's fine. So she's good. And yeah, so we're going to, um, the boys are going to be back, well, in a good few hours. And then we're going to go down to um, the Legends Field um, and we're going to take the cauldron with us. And we're going to barbecue sausages in the sun and have hot dogs with Nanny BB. So yes, we're it's going to be lovely. We're really looking forward to it. Um, as I say, it's the summer holiday, well, the uh, winter, spring holidays here. So the kids are um, thoroughly enjoying doing lots and lots of things with their nan. And yeah, it's just been nice. But I'm going to get on with these bears. I'm going to stop rabbiting on. And uh, yeah, we will. I will be back soon. I'll put the video in now of me speeding up the restoration of the very, very old, much loved bear. Um, you haven't. He's not quite finished yet. So you'll have to just see where I got to. And then as soon as I've finished him and I've shown his owner and she's happy for me to show you, then, um, then I will show you. So yeah, it's one of those cliff edge. You'll have to wait. So yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye bye.
Hello. So I just thought I'd show you lovely Tita Two here. Um, she is laying eggs, lots of them. Um, unfortunately, some, not something I want to encourage. Um, she shouldn't really be laying eggs in captivity. She doesn't have a mate, um, apart from me. I think she genuinely thinks I'm her mate, which is slightly concerning. Um, you know, you discourage it by not striking them on the back and all sorts of different things you can do to try and help them. But unfortunately, um, Tita, <laughs> Tita has fallen in love. Um, and yeah, she keeps laying, laying me eggs, as you can see, which aren't fertile. So, um, yeah, I'm having to, I'm leaving them in there for a bit and then I'm slowly getting rid of them. Um, but yeah, she's, a uh, yeah, as I mentioned before, she's not, not great around, around anyone. So when she's got an egg, she's a little bit aggressive. So we're having to take them out and I'm trying to, um, discourage her from doing it, aren't I? I'm about to have to up, up her calcium because it can, it can have quite a bad effect on parrots when they're, when they're, you know, captive and living inside is not something, as I say, you want to encourage. But lovely Tita here has decided that it's the right temperature, it's the right light, it's the right bedding. She's got got the love of her life, haven't you? Um, so she's just going to keep laying eggs and hope that we're going to have children together, which clearly we are not going to. So um, yeah, so it's it's a hard one, but um, she's happy. Thank you. 